question was that he promised in 2015, and I quote, we will make it easier for Canadians to find an affordable place to call home. When he made that promise, the average monthly payment for a mortgage in Canada was a modest $1,400. What is it today? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Of course, situations vary across the country, but we have stepped up uh, with housing programs in uh, big cities like Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, but we've also stepped up in smaller municipalities and rural areas across the country that need supports in housing. Unlike the previous Conservative government that didn't feel the federal government had any role to play in housing, we stepped up in tangible, concrete ways uh, to deliver more housing, to deliver rapid housing, to deliver uh, programs that fought homelessness, uh, that programs that increase uh, the rental stocks. We will continue to be investing to support people alongside our partners in the provinces and municipalities. Here, here. Leader of the opposition. He wants to compare with the Conservative record. I gave him a chance. I told him when the Conservatives left office, the average monthly payment on a new house was $1,400. I asked him to tell us what it is today. Either he doesn't know or he's too afraid to admit but it's gone up to over $3,100. That's over a 100% increase. When the Prime Minister took office, a two-bedroom apartment in Canada's 10 biggest cities, on average, was $1,100. How much is it today? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Over the past eight years, we've seen significant growth in the economy. We've seen uh, more Canadians getting jobs than ever before. We've seen more Canadians lifted out of poverty uh, than ever before because of the things we did. From the very first initiative, which was lowering taxes for the middle class and raising them on the wealthiest 1%, initiatives that Conservatives voted against, to delivering a Canada child benefit that puts more money in the pockets of families that need it and stopped sending child benefit checks to millionaires. We've continue to move forward in supporting communities, supporting home builders, uh, supporting homeowners and home buyers. We will continue to be there for Canadians. The Leader of the Opposition. Oh, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> he, he would have you believe that Canadians have never had it so good. Uh, we'll ask the 9 and 10 young people who believe they will never own a home. The 35-year-olds living in their parents' basements because they can't afford the new doubling of the average down payment, mortgage payment, or rental costs. And speaking of paychecks, when he took office, the average paycheck, you only needed 39% of the average paycheck to, uh, to make monthly payments on the average house. That number has risen to 62%. By every objective measurement, things are more expensive and Canadians are taking home less. How did he spend so much to achieve so little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Across the country, we've seen record gro job growth. We've seen record number of Canadians lifted out of poverty. We've seen uh, investments to fight climate change that have put more money in people's pockets. We've continued to move forward in growing the economy. But it is only, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Conservative leader trying to say Canadians have never had it so good because we know Canadians are struggling. And that's why we continue to step up uh, with investments in dental care, investments uh, in low-income rental supports, two initiatives that the Conservatives voted against. Against. We will continue to be there to deliver for Canadians while we deliver a better future for everyone. Here, here. The leader of the opposition. He's trying to talk about everything but the housing questions I asked. <laughs> yeah. And it's easy to understand why. When he took office, housing was affordable. Now it's impossibly expensive. In fact, it's much more expensive than around the rest of the world. Vancouver is now the third most overpriced housing market, and Toronto the tenth worst in the world, worse than Manhattan than Singapore, than London, than countless other places with more people, more money, and less land. In fact, the average house price last year in the United States was barely, was almost half less than it is here in Canada. Why is housing so much more expensive here than elsewhere in the world? Why? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. We have continually invested in programs and supports for Canadians that have seen uh, millions of families entering new homes, getting the supports they needed, millions of refurbishments, millions uh, of supports uh, right across the country. But it's interesting to contrast the Conservative record on that. In the last election campaign, the Conservative platform promise on housing, 
was to give tax breaks to wealthy landlords. Uh, that was their approach on housing. What well, we contrasted with significant investments in delivering for first-time home buyers, delivering uh, for uh, people facing homelessness, delivering for Canadian families to access better housing.